you should rank your drop service in businesses to bring in a crap load more leads and not just leads conversions okay i've been getting a lot of requests for david how do i rank my drop servicing businesses and everything like that okay and i'm gonna give you my exact template make sure you stay to the end because i'm going to show you behind the scenes and actually transfer over to you my perfect seo game plan that's gotten us thousands of rankings first page rankings number one rankings at the top of the first page in the snack pack over the years and i'm going to show you proof i'm going to show you a lot of my properties and everything so you're going to get to the end of this video and you're going to comment i stayed to the end if you don't comment that you will not be transferred over the perfect seo game plan okay why do you want to rank your drop servicing businesses on google and youtube and all of these search engines keyword is a search engine you want people to uh people that are searching to go ahead and come to your sites and your landing pages because they're going to convert better if they were if they were looking for you in the first place versus you just doing some kind of SEO, I mean, you, uh, some kind of Facebook ad or something, right? Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to give it over there to Google now, and I'm just going to show you some examples of what I'm talking about as far as positioning yourself and ranking your drop servicing businesses, okay? So this is my school. You type in <clears throat> St. Louis Real Estate School. You'll see at the top, it is around 140 searches per month. We get students on autopilot. I have positioned myself as number one and number two at the top. All right, so anybody that comes through here and searches for this, we get them, okay? Two chances right here to get the new students to enroll on autopilot. I don't have to do anything or talk to any damn body. All right, so that's why you want to do this, okay? Then we open up another browser, go back to Google again, and we type in St. Louis Culinary School, and that has 480 searches. We're number one. You can flip that around for an 80, still number one, okay? So you guys, we get students on autopilot. A lot of you were just on the last video uh, where I showed you an overwhelming amount of proof. If not, I'm going to iCard to that right now. So just look up and you can just open that in another browser and watch that one after this. Remember, you gotta stay to the end and you'll be able to see all of the proof in the scaling video, all right? But anyway, so now that you guys know that I can become number one at the top of Google, I have positioned myself as an authority figure to be able to teach you and you should definitely listen. All right. So <clears throat> this area right here, we call this the snack pack. This is the Google My Business listings or the Google Maps, if you want to call it that. Down here, these are the organic rankings, OK, meaning uh, like websites. OK, so a person would click this and they will go to your website with this up here. The reason why this gets around 80 percent of the phone call volume is because on a cell phone, it wouldn't have this. It, it would still have this, but it would have a phone icon where you could just click to make a phone call straight to the business. Down here, people would have to go all the way to the website, look for the number and all of that. So it's inconvenient. So this is why I strongly recommend that you guys spend 90% uh, of your efforts getting in the snack pack right here. This is where you want to be for your drop servicing business, depending on whatever niche you're doing. OK, so. I'm going to show you, I showed you some at the top. Now I'm going to show you one of them that is not at the top um, and what we're doing to get it to the top, okay? <clears throat> Sheep party bus. All right, so we've been working on this one for a second. Here it is right here. This is us, party bus rentals, St. Louis. This is my back and forth transportation company right here. That's the actual name of it, back and forth, okay? Um, and let me show you that it gets phone calls just in case you guys be like, what? That don't mean it's getting phone calls. All right, it's a shame I got to do this. But yeah, let's log in. The Bible says to prove all things, right? So make sure you guys stay to the end. If I sound boring, that's because it's, it's super early in the morning, man. All right, <laughs> but stay to the end because remember the goodies you're going to get. I'm going to give you the perfect SEO game plan to be able to rank your drop service and, uh, you know, properties and, and advertisements and stuff just in case you don't really know how to uh, do paid traffic or anything like that. So as you can see, here's that same number, 844-339. Please don't call plan on it because I have to pay every time a call comes in. All right, so there, there it is right there. Same number right here, okay? So proven, 107 calls came through, 82 transferred. Proven, 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 proven. Look at this one right here. Here's another number. This is my internet company, internet and cable company. All right, 571 calls came through. 547 uh, actual transfer, but that means that sometimes like uh, nobody will pick up the phone. Okay, so 
when it says transfer, that means people actually picked up this. All right. So let's come back over here. We can close that out. So now you guys can see getting right here is actually <laughs> detrimental. OK, you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you don't get up in this snack pack right here. So even though we're not at the top, as you can see, we still had one hundred and seven freaking phone calls and a crap load of bookings. OK, that's a lot of money. And in case you don't know what I mean by a lot of money, let's just go over to the site. This is the site that I transfer over to you guys when you go to that link in the description. Remember, I don't sell anything or anything to you guys. You get your tools. I transfer everything over to you. See, here's the number is congruent. I have the irresistible offer on here, which is why they'll pay me way higher prices. OK, 900. All right. So this is what I mean. I get a four hundred dollar profit off of this. I get a six hundred dollar profit off of that one and around five hundred some dollar profit off of this one when a person just clicks the call for this deal. All right. So what I can do is I can set up an IVR like you guys saw on that three hundred number. All right. Set up an IVR where they can just choose which one of these they want. Make the payment. They'll get text the uh, the form and a PayPal button. They make the payment. And then I have my virtual assistant transfer funds over to our partners, our local partners. This is why you want to have multiple partners. Just in case somebody is booked up for the month. So you need to partner with all of the damn party bus companies or, you know, whatever niche you're in. You want to partner with multiple people, not just one, just in case. Because if a call comes in and, and an order comes in, like so let's say you wake up in the morning and you have an order and then you contact your partners and they're all booked up and they can't do it. You just got to send the money back. OK, so it sucks. You're like, oh, snap, I got all this money and I got to send it back because nobody's available. That's just how it goes. So it doesn't hurt because, hey, you know, whatever, you know, it happens. But the more partners you have in that town, the less likely it is that you're not going to be able to get them a freaking vehicle. So I'm just giving an example. You don't even have to go into this niche. OK. All right, it's very easy. It comes with all the uh, ads and setup and everything. And now you guys are learning how to do the SEO for it. Okay, so how do you get up in here? All right, so let's say we're gonna start off like you got a brand new freaking uh, uh like you got a brand new. I'm freaking it's still early in the morning. Like you got a brand new uh address. So we're gonna start off like you got a brand new address. Okay, I'm gonna log out of here. Log into my other other account. Ready? Just to give you a better example, I got so many in there. Okay, so let's say you got an address. You did a partnership with somebody in a city, like you scoped out. Matter of fact, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go ahead and we're gonna do the keyword research. Show you exactly how it would go. All right. Okay. People texting me while I'm doing it. Sorry, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the keyword research. So let's say you live in uh, Springfield, Missouri. We're just gonna use an example. Springfield. Missouri. All right, so you're gonna decide which keyword you want to rank for in Springfield. Now, put this in place of your city, okay? So you would just switch Springfield out. What do you wanna look for? You wanna look for uh, either long tail keywords or you wanna look for a super low competition, but high volume. Now, 140 searches per month isn't exactly high volume, but if it's low competition, you can get a nice percentage of those. And if you're getting, Five hundred to a thousand dollar profit every time somebody does a transaction through your site or something like that, then is it is definitely worth it. Okay, definitely worth it. So what do I mean by low competition? Well, as you can see, this one is perfect. Matter of fact, I probably have this done before y'all even done watching this. But anyway, as you can see, it doesn't say more places right here. If I put, let's go back to St. Louis, St. Louis. All right, it says more places. That means I got to deal with going through all the competition of St. Louis, multiple businesses and everything. But over here in Springfield, as you can see, it doesn't say more places. That means there's only three companies that I have to beat out. That's awesome. That means even if you don't know any SEO for real, for real, for real, that means you can still get up in here. Like, so what would you. OK, we're going to do a little bit more keyword research. All right. We're going to see which one is some more searches. Flip that around. OK, well, we know that one doesn't. The party bus back in front. OK, let's see. Party bus. OK, so we know it has to have the Missouri at the end. See, this is how you do your keyword research. And in case you don't know what this tool is, it's right here. It's called Keywords Everywhere. It gives you the approximate guess of uh, how many searches per month a keyword gets. OK, so it's extremely helpful. It's pretty much made for AdWords, like if you're doing ads and stuff like that. But is extremely helpful at least you can see that it is getting some kind of searches so let's see if we put rental in front of it what will it do 30. okay so as we can see the one that had the most amount of searches 
for Springfield, Missouri. So we want to find a way to put our exact match keyword or phrase into the title of our Google My Business listing without it looking like too much of keyword stuffing. So how do you do that? You combine uh, the keyword with a brand, okay? So it would be Bob's Party Bus in Springfield, Missouri, or Untouchable Party Bus in Springfield, Missouri, or Desirable. <laughs> I don't know why I got all these sensual words, right? All these sensual adjectives. But anyway, uh, it will be, um, I don't know, super fun party bus in Springfield, Missouri. Okay, so that way you put branding on front and you have the exact match keyword in there as well. So why do you want to put branding in there? Well, because Google has started attacking um, exact, exact match phrase keywords and stuff like that, listings and stuff, because they know that it's guys like me. They know that it's SEOs that's making these listings that aren't actually in that city or don't actually have a physical location there. So they're trying to weed them out. So if you put branding on there, all right, like Fisk Transportation LLC and stuff, it looks pretty professional and all of that. He don't have the keywords in there, but he got the idea. So I would be like Fisk Party Bus, you know, LLC in Springfield, Missouri or something like that. You guys understand, be, be, be freaking creative, right? So even Party Bus Kings, that's still not too shabby. All right, so, now I'm going to walk you through what you're going to do next. All right. I'm going to try not to make this video too long or too, um, you know, like difficult for you guys to get. I'm going to try to keep it Google guy guy, you know, easy to understand for any of you who are not um, SEO experts or anything like that. OK. All right. So now we're going to come over here. What do you do with this? OK, you're going to come over here, go to Google My Business. If you guys are new to Google My Business and never verify the address, it's not going to show you this. It's going to bring you here. This is what it's going to show you. And remember, you're going to put some kind of branding. All right. So I'll say top tier party bus. All right. So now it doesn't look like I'm an SEO. Now it looks like I'm actually some kind of brand top tier. And I can even put at the end TT, you know, party bus. You know, this is just another way of sneaking in that keyword. All right, Springfield Party Bus. All right, so it just looks like, you know, okay, it looks like they actually get there. All right, so you're going to hit next, and you're going to put the business category, which you can either choose transportation service. What I like to do is, you know, come over there and see what the top ranking ones were saying, you know what I'm saying, um, and then choose what they say, okay? But here we'll say limo. You can say limo service, or you can say bus charter. So I would say bus charter for party buses. And then, do you want to add a location customers can visit? You're going to say yes. All right. I know you're like, oh, snap. I don't want them visiting the actual uh, address. It's a residential place. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody showing up there. Deal. I understand. That's cool. So what you're going to do is once you're done verifying your address, here's my old address. Don't be. I'm be going to St. Louis bothering them people. It's a Mexican family that live there now, man. Don't be bothering them. Anyway, I'm not gonna verify this because they're gonna be like, what? <laughs> all right, but anyway, I'm just taking y'all through it. So you until you verify, you want your address to show. All right. Three days after you verify, then you can come back in here and hide your address. Okay, so where it says, do you also serve customers outside this location? If you know all of the municipalities and stuff like that, the little areas and small towns around you. You can put yes, you're going to put Springfield or your city and all the little small towns that are around. You, OK, if you don't know them, then you just say no. That means you'll just choose your city. OK, and hit next. You're going to put your tracking number, the tracking number that like you're going to come over here and get you a tracking number. That way you don't have to put your actual phone number and you can record the calls and all of that extra stuff and set up your IVR so everything could be automated. Right. That's what you want. You want it to all be on autopilot. Right. OK, so you will put that number right there. It's only three bucks for you cheapos. OK, three bucks. OK, and then you will put your party bus. You will put your party bus site right here. All right. Let's get our party bus site. <laughs> and for all of you asking if you need a domain name and all of that, um, only if you plan on scaling it multiple cities and you're trying to like actually go deep into like one niche, which I do recommend. You know what I'm saying? Then you want like I said, you want to look branded and everything. OK, so we'll just put uh all right. And if you don't have a site, then you just put I don't need a site. Hit next. And then if I was to hit finish, it would tell me that uh, a white Google letter is going to come in the mail to my house via the mailman, not in your email, 
the mailman is going to bring a white Google letter that looks like a W-2 form or a check where it got the little tear off parts on both sides and everything like that. That's going to come to your house. OK, so don't let it get lost in the mail thinking it's something else. OK, you open it up. You're going to come back in here. The shortcut, you know, the shortcut was uh, bringing you to Google My Business. Right. And then you're just going to hit where it says verify or enter verification code. OK, and let me show you what that looks like. Uh, yeah. Refresh. And I guess I can just go in there and show you everything you need to do now since I'm going. In. All right. I'm so hungry. OK, so you see when that code comes in the mail in three to five days, sometimes they come faster, especially if you're brand new. You're going to come in here and hit enter verification code. All right. See, so I'm not going to hit that because I'm still waiting on my codes. OK, I wish I could change the damn it. All right. Anyway, so here we click on this. All right. So what do you do until then? What do you do until uh, your code comes? You can come here and add your hours. And what I like to do is put 24 hours, as long as I got partners, they say 24 hours. 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. All right. I, I know a lot of this ain't boring. Make sure you guys don't snooze off. Stay till the end so I can transfer all of this. And if you have a VA, then you can get them to do all of this boring stuff. Remember that. All right. So then you'll switch out a number with your tracking number and all of that extra stuff blah 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 blah. all right so down here you want to add a business description all right so what i like to do for the business description is either put a paragraph on there like i'll put a little like a little preview this is what they're going to see before they actually click through to your google my business listing okay i will put like this i'll put the whole freaking offer book your party bus blah 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 and i like to put a keyword in there so i'll put Book your St. Louis party bus if that's where I'm trying to rank. But for this instance, we're talking about Springfield. Book your Springfield party bus today and get 10% off all future trips and then include all of that. And then I will put all of these freaking offers in here. That way, if they don't want that, they won't even click through to the site. But if they click through to the site, they're going to convert. OK, then what you want to do is add some photos so it can start looking real. All right. All right. Let's come over. So you would click on photos right here. and they're just basically telling you nothing's going to show on Google until you verify, until your letter comes in. All right. So you might be like, OK, where am I going to get some photos? I don't actually own a party bus company or something. Well, you're going to put the exact same stuff that's on your site. You're going to use that as your photos. And when you contact your partner in that city, all right, if you want to, you can ask them, hey, do you have some videos or photos I can use? Because I'm about to start sending people to you and I want to be able to show them, uh, you know, your, your fleet. All right. So you just put the fleet in here. And if you want to, if you really want to brand yourself, you can go on Fiverr for five bucks and get you a logo made, make everything look all super professional. But yeah, basically just fill fill in as much as you can on here. OK, fill in as much as you can on here. Now, what do we do? All right. Remember, don't mess with anything for three days after you get the code. Like when you get the code and you actually come in and verify, don't touch it for three days or it will get suspended. All right. They'll get all suspicious and everything. I'm talking about you can come in here and edit stuff before the code comes or after the three days. OK. All right. So don't be messing with it during the three days. All right. So after you're done filling in photos and all of that extra stuff, you want to go to post and you just want to make a post because Google likes when you have engagement and you interact and they start ranking a lot of these posts on the front page of Google as well. So what would you put in your first post? I would literally do the exact same thing. Like I said, just come up here and put all of this in the first post. So you're pretty much just filling out as much as you can. You create hit create first post. You fill out as much as you can. You just copy and paste that in there. You look like a legitimate business that's really trying to set up everything. OK, that's it, man. That's it. All right. This is where you can check out, like, you know, the engagement on your listing when people start viewing and everything like that. Uh, right here, you can set it up to where they can book straight from your Google My Business instead of going to your actual website. And then right here this is where it says website. Google My Business will actually give you a Google site. See, they're creating a the site right now It's drop and drag or drag and drop. All right. So what do you want to do with this? You want this to be a clone of your actual website. All right. I actually recommend that you put. Oh, I'm not going to tell my story. Leave me alone. OK, I actually recommend that you put this as your website 
on uh, in your info. All right. Because it's Google's property. Google always gives more favor to their own properties as you would. OK, so it'll make your Google My Business listing more powerful. You might say, well, David, I want them to go to my site. OK, that's cool. That's fine. You just have a little tab right here at the top that says visit real site or visit main site. And they'll go over to this site right here, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm saying, you linking this Google site to another Google entity creates a lot of link juice. And that's very powerful, especially when you start doing the other steps. All right. So now you have all that done. Let's assume that you uh, already, you know, got everything verified and everything like that. If you've done what I told you to do, which is pick low competition. All right. Super low competition uh areas and stuff like that and all you got to do is do this list of u.s cities by population all right and here we go wikipedia all right i want you guys to succeed so make sure you're paying attention all right so just in between you know three hundred thousand, and don't go no further down than like fifty thousand. the population okay you want those tiny 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 towns okay all right but see then we got Springfield right here, we got Fort Collins and blah, blah, blah. All right. So let's try, let's try um, Pasadena. Let's see what we do in Pasadena. <sighs> Party bus. All right, that one got 10 searches. That wouldn't be one I would go after. Neither would that one. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's try Fort Collins. And remember, you guys don't have to do this niche. I'm just using this niche as an example. Here we go. That's a good amount of searches. Okay. All right. Now let's check the competition. More places. Mm, boom. Anytime you see this bar right here, this stroll bar, and it's long instead of pause, instead of like short how it usually is, that means there's usually only one page of competition. Boom. Perfect. That means you will get calls instantaneously. And that's what you want in this game. The quicker you can get calls, the quicker you can get conversions, the quicker you can get sales and all of that extra lovely stuff. Okay. All right. So boom. Here we go. This is for the picking. Anybody watching this right now? This is definitely for the freaking picking. I would I would be on this. One, all right. Definitely. All right. So you're like, David, how would I get an address right there? Like I told you in the last video, man, you can just make connections with people that live in Fort Collins. This is the age of social media. You can hashtag Fort Collins on Instagram. You can uh, Fort Collins uh, entrepreneur groups on Facebook. Boom. I mean, it's freaking simple, man. It's simple. You can go to Fort Collins in, on Craigslist. All right. In a resume section with people that's looking for gigs and little cash jobs and give their ass 20 bucks and don't give them the 20 until the, uh, the address actually comes back verified and everything like that. I mean, you got to use your creativity. Y'all supposed to be hustlers, right? All right. We're dealing with hustlers. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let no excuses stop you, because once you get up in here, that's thousands and thousands of dollars that you can be getting out. You know. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys how you will go about getting these addresses and everything and how to pick a low competition niche. All right. Because the things I'm going to show you as far as SEO and all of that, y'all wanted to know how to do SEO. But if you pick the niches that I recommend for now, they're not competitive. And if you go like hop on it right now, it won't be competitive for you. And if they have a nice amount of searches, how I tell you to choose them, you're going to start getting freaking traffic instantaneously. Man, This right here. Even if you are all the way down at the bottom, there's no second page. And this is a niche that people call around before they make a decision. That's good. That's what you want. That means they'll they'll find you no matter where you're at. Even if you're down here somewhere, they'll eventually get to you call, try to ask your prices or see your prices on the site. And remember, we don't, we don't bend or budge. They have to choose, click the call for this deal. OK, and then you can set it up to the IVR. If you don't want to answer the phone, the IVR will do all of that. And, and text them the order form where they can just go ahead and make the payment all on autopilot. I mean, that's that's how you do it. So my point is, while y'all trying to learn SEO and go the long way around, not saying you should know how to do SEO because I can pretty much run the world with this skill right here, knowing how to position myself. But my point is, if speed is your friend and you're trying to get income quickly, then you shouldn't be worried about like going after learning the best SEO. You should be going after niches and towns that are profitable enough and, and low in competition enough to where you don't even need SEO. Like I'm getting so lazy. It's been so long since I really had to do some deep, 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 deep SEO on something other than the projects that I'm already uh, been doing for years. Like as far as new SEO, I don't even pay attention to it. Like <laughs> if I see something where I got to really, really try too hard to rank for, I said, man, 
if it ain't a million dollar keyword, I'm not really dealing with it. Like it got to be worth it. But I'm not going, I'm not doing no hard SEO for some stuff like this. This right here is perfect for this amount of searches because you can start getting calls and bookings pretty much the same damn week. All right. Even if you're down here, but you're not going to be down here because you already know what you're going to do. You're going to brand it plus keyword and that keyword relevancy is going to push you up to around here somewhere. All right. The main reason why this person is number two is because he has Fort Collins party bus in his freaking title. Remember that might be a marketer. OK, so just remember that. All right. So as long as you put party bus Fort Collins or Fort Collins party bus in there somewhere, plus branding in there, then you will probably rank up in here right with this guy and start getting calls the same damn week or start getting uh, traffic to the site the same damn week making money. You know. <sighs> OK, so just remember that. Make sure you guys rewind this back. Watch it again. Whatever you got to do. OK. All right. So now this is a URL. URL is just a website address. OK. So we do something called backlinking. All right. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of uh, a GS. Let me see. Let me go over here. All right. All right. Where are we at? Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing it, guys. Where is it? Yes, hey. All right, you might have to go over there to uh, here. How about this one? Send. They always moving stuff around. What is this? Link blast. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. GSA. All right. So the reason why they made it hard to find is because these are dangerous to your actual website. OK, so you would never send a GSA blast to your website or anything. But this is Google. Google can handle it. Google is powerful, the most powerful website on the Internet because they pretty much run it. OK, so what you'll do is you're going to send you're going to send a GSA blast to the Google My Business listing URL and this website link that they gave you. So you will copy this into your notepad and you would go back home and let's see once once it's verified it's going to have over in this area it's going to say um see this on google or see this on maps okay so you're going to take those two urls you're going to open those up so in total you're going to have three urls from your google my business all right and then you're going to bring them over here they're going to uh, they give you unlimited links that you can put in there you're going to tell them you want to blast them three links okay so remember you're already in a low competition niche. So just that right there, pretty much, just that right there would be enough. For real, for real. Like that would be enough. Okay. And then, yeah, I I, I wouldn't even do anything else. I'll I'll go deeper into like an SEO, like actual <coughs> course course and stuff like that when I create one, if I create one, right? Okay, but that right there should get it. Okay, so if you're not ranking number one with that GSA blast to your Google My Business. This is what you do. And these are white hat links. So there's nothing dangerous about this. And I'm going to give you my go to. OK, most of these people good, but I like to deal with the same one. I always refreshing some crap. Uh, <sighs> that's not a good name to have. <laughs> but anyway, all right. The, the girl I use, I'm going to have to find her for you guys off here. So we ain't just like you guys ain't just watching me stroll and everything like that. But anyway, when I find her, I think her name is Linda again. But yeah, I'm gonna find her for you. And she's good. And what I mean by that is every press release I get is it ranks it ranks on the first page of Google. OK, so what that's going to do is send a lot of link juice. So you're, you're not going to link out to your actual party bus site. See how how SEO is everything that links together transfers juice. So you don't really ever want to send an actual link to your domain okay you always want to use a mediator all right that can take it that can handle it like facebook page or like like google my business okay or a tumblr or something okay or weebly all right so these can take bad links and and not really get hurt and everything like that but your website can't all right so you don't want to send bad links though that's why i'm recommending press releases press releases are white at links they're relevant and um like it's full of authority. All right. It's full of authority. Think about it. Press releases are just a, a syndication of news sites. Google loves current events, loves news. So this ranks uh, the press release ranks on the first page and that can get you leads as well as it pushing up your GMB listing into the snack pack. OK, so just that right there, <clears throat> just right there, guaranteed that will get you number one especially in a city like this you can't tell me these dudes is doing seo i'm sorry they no 
because they're already they're not thirsty because they already getting like it's not that much competition right so but you want to be number one or at least up there right so you would just do that that's just a couple dollars like literally to be number one in fort collins all right now <laughs> from there you scale up okay so let's say you got your first one up in your first week you made a nice little you know transaction you got through some conversions you made some money and you hyped up you excited like damn david this ain't as hard as i thought it was gonna be it's not okay you know it's, it's it's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do to this like it's free ways you can get reviews i'm gonna teach you and there's paid ways you can get reviews you can you can run a facebook ad in the area to get reviews i mean it's just so simple and easy man. all right so don't look over and be like hey man they got more reviews you got 168 reviews how do i beat that first of all google isn't really weighing reviews because they know that people can fake reviews so they ain't really too like okay they're not using that for ranking as you can see in st louis uh in my rankings i didn't have any reviews i think i had reviews for the culinary but i ain't have nothing for the real estate <laughs> and i'm still number one and number two all right so google don't really care about no damn reviews remember that don't let that hold you back all right so but it looks good it, it looks good all right so we got ways to get reviewed if you reviews all right so from here on you're pretty much done with this you know what i'm saying unless you're in an extremely competitive area but why would you do that now is not the time to challenge yourself or get in mortal combat minds set and test your might this is not the time for that okay now is the time for the low-hanging fruit all right you want to like the fruit need to be hanging so low like you stumbling over it. It ain't, it shouldn't, it ain't even no point for it to be attached to the tree. It's already on the ground, right? That's the fruit that you want, okay? All right, so you want to find stuff that's this damn simple. You want to find stuff that's this damn simple. Look at this, man, that I'll be giving you. I'll be giving y'all, like, I'll be giving y'all my niches, man. Look at St. Louis. Look at St. Louis. Boom. Look at this. Skydiving. You can go on there on these sites and see how much they charge. And it has a thousand searches per month, man. I would literally just just hop on skydiving, man. Like hop on skydiving. Let's see Kansas City. It's the same in every city. It's the same in every city. No multiple pages of competition. Do you really need to know SEO? Is what I'm asking you. Like a thousand searches per month, and what you can make a couple hundred bucks per package. I mean, come on, man. Look, let's go. Let's go to some of the competitive cities just to show you. Let's go to Los Angeles. <laughs> You telling me now? Nah, let's. All right, there we go. I'm about to say it ain't. I know it ain't just no one. All right, boom. <laughs> okay, so it's it's only two companies in Los Angeles. Only two, two companies. Let's go to Miami, man. This is what I'm talking about. Do you, like y'all asking me for SEO? Do you need SEO? Do you need it? Eight thousand one hundred searches per month. Eight thousand. That means you if you ranked right. Now look at this. There's no more places, not even three companies. You can literally just contact both of them by email. Let them know you're sending some people over. You got their prices. Boom. Let them uh, to let you know if they ain't booked up. But like I said, you don't even have to worry about that. A sale comes in or, or a purchase or a rental or a booking or whatever comes in. Your virtual assistant has the instructions to go ahead and um, contact the partner. Uh, try to make the booking if they say they're booked up. She hangs up and she just refunds the money to the person that booked through your site. No harm, no foul, nothing lost, nothing legal, nothing, no liabilities, nothing. You just send the money back and tell them we booked up. Boom. I mean, you're good. You're good, man. This is not difficult. It's not scary. It's not hard or any of that. Okay, we can go some more. I don't know why I ain't show y'all skydiving. Okay, let's see Orlando. Every city is the damn same. Look at this. Let's say 4,400 searches. Gotta put the FL so we can see the snack pack. Uh, this one got more places how many boom still only one page of content so no matter what city you're in it just case y'all don't hear like david which one which city should i do blah 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 does this work in my town blah 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 these the the, the niches i show y'all especially the ones with no competition will literally work in any freaking city okay all right you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put a course together and i'm going to start from scratch with you guys from scratch and show you guys how simple this is to get up and running and starting and profitable and how quickly it will work. OK, I'm going to do that with you guys. All right. So I don't know, maybe the end of this week or, or the end of next week, I'll come out with the course or something. I don't know. I don't want to rush it. I want it to be super detailed and awesome and simplistic, like all the way down to ABC so that you don't have any more questions. And if you do, you're still going to have help. OK, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do, because it's just it's killing me how I'm not seeing too much success. Or anybody else doing is as good as they should be with drop servicing. Leave that fiber crap alone, all right? So now, 
this was the organic. I mean, this was the snack pack. All right. But how do you rank the organic? OK, well, like I said, I'm going to send you the perfect SEO game plan as 29 steps. This is why I said focus on this right here, because believe it or not, even though this gets more phone calls, this one down here is harder to rank for, which is why I don't understand why people still even try to try. Like as long as they have this, I ain't even worried about down there for real, unless it's a keyword that I'm really trying to like dominate for. And I want to take all of this and all of this down here, then then that's something different. But if I'm just trying to generate some leads or some calls or some sales or something, I'll be fine up in here, man. Like, come on, y'all. You ain't got to do all that difficult SEO. All right. But step one, choose a profitable niche that will allow for many topic pages. <laughs> this is getting deep into the SEO, man. Number two, do competition analysis for easy rankings, looking for signs such as more than two or three Yelp listings, which indicates first page is weak. OK, so what I mean by Yelp listings, I'm talking about um, any type of directory listings or something like that, like a Groupon. OK, so if you can see um, multiple Groupons or Yelp, see, we already know that Google just don't have that much to put on the first page. This would be like candy from a baby to rank for. OK. All right. So let's go. Uh, number three, choose a city with high call volume, but low population, such as 300. I mean, 30,000 to 100,000 people is back in the day. All right. When doing keyword research for page topics, use answer the public. Google related searches to find extra keyword and topic pages. All right. So this is going deep into act the actual website, right? not the Google My Business ranking. You literally just to get started like this is free traffic. You don't even need the paid ads that I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you paid ad templates and all of that extra stuff. If you want to do Google ads and Facebook ads, I'm going to send you all of that stuff. I'm not going to charge you or any of that. But this right here, you don't even need, you don't need, like if you do your keyword, take your time. Take a whole hour or a whole day if you have to. Spend a day just finding the perfect niches with low competition. And I told you how to find if they're low competition. If it don't say no uh, more places or if when you open it up, it the stroll bar is super long like this because this is an indicator letting you know that even if you're not number one, you're still going to get phone calls. You're still going to get traffic to your site, too. Then you can use here. You can use this niche, too. Uh, here we go. Escape room. 1600 searches per month 18,100 searches approximately per month so we're gonna open up see how competitive it is uh, this one is a little bit more competitive in orlando oh no it ain't it's still only two pages but it's just the first page is longer you'll have to move up there a little bit longer orlando pretty deep all right let's see uh let's see miami 6,600 approximately let's click more places boom that's what you want to see a long stroll bar. That means there's not that many businesses to deal with. Only one page. Boom. So if you're watching this from Miami, I'm going to Miami. In Benito, I'm behind. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I want to have a this right. All right. So then you come down here just in case you do want to rank the actual website. You got a Yelp down here. You got a timeout. That's a magazine. That This first page of Google is super weak. It's super weak, man. And then look at this. I'm just giving you guys all niches that nobody else is going to tell you about hunted on a wild spell all right 1600 searches per month let's open up more places this is completely open nobody is thinking of haunted houses nobody is thinking of escape rooms nobody is thinking of skydiving parachuting things like that jet ski rentals like real fun experience type stuff that people will spend a crap load of money to do all right now house on uh hundred houses ain't that expensive but it's so easy to rank for it's like why not like if you can get multiple addresses in your area this would definitely be a niche for halloween if you celebrate that type of thing but if not hey them escape rooms this niche right here escape room come on y'all and this is literally one in every city and i didn't find that's another thing y'all want to pay attention to movies pay attention to tv shows pay attention to commercials i didn't even know that the escape room was real I didn't know it was a such thing like black people don't do that, man. Like I didn't know escape rooms was real until that damn movie came out. And I found this niche and I'm in love. I am in love. I cannot believe is that many searches, but is no competition. Let's go to Vegas and see how much competition is in Vegas. OK. All right. Let's see. It said it ain't that many searches in Vegas. Hmm, maybe we don't even want to deal with Vegas, man. What the hell is this? Good All right. Let's see. All right. That's better. Yeah, this, that's not good enough. All them other cities. I can't believe St. Louis got more searches for uh, for uh, escape room than, than Vegas. What is this? Okay, let's try Denver. I never did this one. <laughs> 12,000 searches. 
Wow. Mm. Still only three pages. See, like, no matter where we go, y'all, it's not high in competition, but it's a crap load of searches. So even if you're not doing paid traffic, this is a niche that would get a crap load of traffic for free. Like, you ain't even got to do paid traffic. Like, see, that's why it'd be killing me when people think that they have to do paid traffic. No, you just need to take your time and pick niches properly to get a high volume of searches with low competition. And it'll seem like you got Facebook ads. It'll seem like that. Okay, now let's try skydiving. And then I ain't gonna keep you guys long. I'm just, I just get into my mood where I was supposed to upload this mug at 8.30. I mean, 8 o'clock, but here we go. Look at Groupon. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so 1,900 searches per month. Now, I want to show you guys. So, yes, you can rank your website probably within two. All right, this I'm talking about organically. Like, even though I always tell you it'll probably take months to get in these, like with up here in the snack pack, you can get in there as soon as it's verified. That's why I love it. It doesn't take long. But down here, most of the time, if, if it's competitive, it could take you months, but not anymore. Remember I told you to do um, a press release and a press release will rank on the first page? This is a press release right here. So I proved my point right here live, live, and I haven't even been here. It's just a press release and they just got images and the freaking article. That's it. Just candy from a baby. And number one is Groupon. This is a joke. And then there's a Yelp on here. Oh my God, man. All right, so <laughs> as you guys can see, man, David doesn't lie. David brings you the real, David helps you out for real. And this is easy to rank for. This would be candy from a baby. So this was just a little small, short tutorial on how to do SEO to rank your drop service and services. You guys can go through all the rest of the 29 steps if you want to. We got on-page SEO and off-page SEO to-do list. And it shows you how to rank organically with your website and with your Google My Business. Nothing is left out. All of the white hat, gray hat, black hat, everything you need to pretty much dominate in any niche, even if it's freaking difficult. It might take some time, but this right here will get you number one no matter what. That's why it's called the perfect SEO game plan. plan. You gotta have some patience, especially organically. But if you guys do what I've been telling you to do lately, you can say, scrap all of this. <laughs> and go after niches like this that you don't really need SEO and just do it in mass amounts. And what do I mean by that? I would do it successfully in Denver, if you're in Denver, you know, basically do it wherever you're at successfully. And then I would think of all of my relatives that live all over the country or the world, period, and I would use their addresses to verify and get right here and then do my Google My Business steps to all of them, okay? So if you got like five, 10 relatives in different cities, that's five or 10 different cities that in the next month, see you guys are thinking it takes a lot of time to scale up or pay traffic. Within the next month, you can be in super amounts of cities if you use your freaking brain, man, and having crazy amounts of traffic and conversions. <sighs> I love telling you guys about this stuff because I've been doing it like myself and you know, secretively, except for my students, my students, my high paying, students and stuff like that they know about a lot of this stuff now you guys know but it don't matter if i tell you if you don't do it man these niches are going to continue to be uncompetitive if you don't make no damn move you need to make a move man y'all watching this for a reason you're watching this for a reason please don't get me confused with a youtuber i am not a youtuber i showed you my businesses i actually own local businesses i actually do real estate i actually do this stuff OK, so don't confuse me with some dude that just come on here and just want you to watch his videos. Get my watch time up, please. Please get my watch time up. I ain't trying to get monetized. I could care less. You know how old this channel is? How many breaks I've taken? Because I have real businesses. I don't care about all that extra dumb stuff. I care about you guys taking uh, the opportunity to actually implement what I come on here for just in case I disappear again. And you back stuck watching all of these channels with people that don't give a damn about you, but they want to sell you some crap that ain't going to do a damn thing. OK, so take advantage. Please take advantage. OK, there's a link in the description. You can get your tools and I'm going to transfer everything over to you completely at no cost. I'm just going to transfer. It only takes a couple buttons. You'll be set up. You will have your freaking party bus uh, templates and everything. You have all your ads. You have all your whatever you need to do the rank and all of that. I'm going to transfer the uh, perfect SEO game plan over to you just in case you want to do some SEO. Go ahead and comment below. If you stay to the end, comment, I stay to the end. If you stay to the end, okay? If you didn't stay to the end, hey, um, that means I'm talking to air right now. But <laughs> comment, I stay to the end, and I'm going to transfer everything over to you guys. All right, love you guys. I want to make sure 
that you make a move in 2020. Stop worrying about money. Stop worrying about this person, that person, what that person got on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. Stop worrying about dumb stuff. Stop being cheap with yourself and then spending money on stupid stuff. All right. Invest in yourself so things can change so that you don't have the same New Year's resolution next year so that you're not living in the same place. So you're not in the same predicament so that you don't have the same goals. Make a move, man. Don't let no obstacles stop you. Don't let nothing scare you. Don't let nothing. Matter of fact, this is what you do. Find a thirty thousand dollar mastermind and just throw yourself in it because that's time travel. You can skip to all the good parts instead of learning the ABC. You, you, you can learn all the basics later after you're already. Pro OK, invest, man. Invest in yourself. All right. OK, so I expect to see you guys in a little while, man. Hey, everything is right here for you. You can rewind this video. Follow it step by step. You don't have to go and buy any course or anything like that. If you're creative, then you can figure it out. If you guys still need me to make some kind of course, then I will. I'll go ahead and make a course, but it's definitely not going to be cheap. You know, I'm the high ticket dude, for real, for real. So don't come to me with the side stories or none of the BS. If you broke, then just continue learning from YouTube because I put enough value out here for you to be already from for you've been watching me about two weeks. You guys should be about 10 grand. If you're not, I don't have any idea what you've been doing. OK. So and I'm giving you my niches and, and stuff like, come on, man, I'm not making this difficult for you. I'm exposing all of my systems and everything like and processes, how to automate everything. I'm sending you all of that stuff. If you have all of that stuff in your possession right now and you're watching this, I don't understand. I don't understand. So that's why I, a lot of y'all ask me for a course. I guess I'll go ahead. I go deeper into a course. You, 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 you got to walk you through, I guess. I'm going to do that with you because I understand. A lot of this stuff was uh, Chinese when I started. Like, I didn't know what the hell this stuff was. So I understand. A lot of the times entrepreneurs forget that they were at a like a beginner level. And I promised myself I was never going to do that. OK, so I, I'll go ahead and bite the bullet and make a course. But don't ask me for a damn course. And then when I come with it, you make excuses. You better go ahead and take your ass down there and get a damn payday loan. You better get a title loan. You better pawn in your TV or some crap like that. And you better go ahead and do it. You better do it. I'm just telling you, I only deal with bosses, female or male. It doesn't matter to me. I only deal with people that's ready to live a better life. I want people I can travel with, have fun with, and, and that's on a level or higher than me. All right. Like that. That's the type of people I like to create, the type of friends I like to have. I love having students that become friends because I know that they're not a leech because they're doing just as good or better. I, I like that type of stuff. So that's why I give so much value out. All right. So like, hey, if y'all want, if y'all trying to get close to me, then you got you got to change your mindset. You can't keep the welfare check mindset, the Social Security check mindset. The um, hey, but I need to save this money because my kid's birthday coming up. Who cares? That's a pagan day and holiday is a pagan any damn way. All of that stuff don't matter. And guess what? Once you invest in your stuff and yourself and things work for you, all of these celebrations will be 10 times better and more fun. All right. So change your mindset. I got a whole crap load of free stuff in the description. Uh, we're going to set your drop, send, uh, drop service and business up at no cost. Go ahead and get your tools in the description link. Text that number that you see in there. Text uh, drop service and set up. And my assistant will uh, get to you from the 314 number and get you set up. And if you still need help after that, we'll help. You. All right. So we got you. All right. Make sure you don't leave this channel without subscribing and hitting the notification bell because of this.